Hi everybody, this is Brad Phillips from BradPhillipsCGI.com. Um, I have a quick video tutorial for you today. We will be setting up a ambient occlusion render pass. Um, and basically I just dropped in a few primitives here. Uh, these can have materials already applied to them. The render pass will not mess with those materials. Uh, so to get started, what we need to do is go up here to the top um, as you can see my screen won't show it but you can get it down here you can also go to the top we want a pass new pass and you'd think that one of these might be it but what we want to do is we just want to make a new empty pass and we will rename this AO for ambient occlusion and perhaps change the format if you want you can change the format by clicking here and saying edit and here you can change the output format to a TIFF or a PNG or a JPEG and change the output name okay so we have our render pass set up so what we want to do is we need to make a new material, an ambient occlusion material that we are going to apply to all the objects in the scene but only for our ambient occlusion pass. So in order to do that first we need to make a material we open up the material editor <clears throat> and we want a new material Fong is okay we're going to rename this AO for ambient occlusion okay so next what we want to do is we want to drop in our we need to go to illumination and drop in our ambient occlusion and then we take our ambient occlusion and we just run that into the surface and we can pull off both of these I guess we should have renamed this one instead of that one. So we'll rename this one AO. And we'll delete this one so we don't get confused. Okay, so now we need to check this out. We can turn up the samples here, which is going to give you smoother transition. Uh, the spread is, is how far it's going to try to spread the... Uh, shadows that it creates. The maximum distance it sets what the maximum distance away an object can be in order for it to be included in the ambient occlusion calculations. We can also turn on reflective and it will obviously catch reflections. Okay so uh, this looks pretty good for a test so let's close this however we need to keep our material manager open and now we need to hit 8 to bring up your explorer and if you're not already then you need to go set current pass as your option if you want you can hit U for a shortcut to bring up current pass then what we're going to do is we're simply going to drop our AO texture onto our background objects partition under the AO pass. So we drop that on there and now that just applied our ambient occlusion texture to every object in the scene when we are running this pass. So as you can see up here at the top AO is the current pass so we should be able to come out here go to your region tool all options use current pass options render render manager and click on mental ray and make sure that ambient occlusion is checked And let's give it a try. Now 
Now, you can see that this obviously worked, <clears throat> and it is providing us with our ambient occlusion pass, and therefore we can render out this pass and use a compositor such as Photoshop or After Effects uh, to layer this on top. And when we do, we just make sure that we set our layer to multiply, and all the white will be gone, and all the dark will be added as shadows. Um, and that's really all there is to uh, setting up an ambient occlusion pass. Uh, to find out a little more, uh, what we can do is, here, let this uh, re-render. To better understand what's happening here, <clears throat> if you haven't worked with ambient occlusion in the past, we'll bring up our options here. Uh, the samples, like I said, is going to provide you with a smoother transition between the darkest darks and the whitest whites. Uh, the problem with turning them up is it takes a much, much longer and many more CPU calculations in order to, for it to uh, render it. So it takes much longer. Um, these are very important here. Um, the spread, the, if you turn down the spread, then your samples aren't as stretched out, therefore you won't get the speckling as much. However, the further you turn down the spread, the less you get on the side of your object. If you like this video, please comment on it. Thanks.